This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account, so we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I too was a black man who didn't know enough about our own history, so I began to dig deeper and do my own research. I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please share and support Teaching Black History. The Story of Thomas Fuller. Thomas Fuller, also known as Negro Tom in the Virginia Calculator, was born in 1710. When the pre-colonial scramble for slaves replaced the earlier trade in gold, Fuller was snatched from his native land of Africa, sold as a slave, and brought to the Colonia America in 1724 at age 14. Although considered illiterate because he could not read and write in English, he consistently demonstrated an unusual talent for solving complex math problems in his head. Northern Virginia planters, Presley and Elizabeth Cox, both of whom were also illiterate, quickly recognized his surprising abilities and put them to use in every phase of the management of their 232-acre plantation farm in Virginia. Working as a field slave for most of his adult life, it was generally believed that Fuller must have taught himself how to calculate early in life, probably as a child in West Africa. In an environment where slaves were forbidden to learn to read and write, he explained his skill as coming from an experimental applications around the farm, such as counting the hairs in a cow's tail or counting grains in bushels of wheat or flaxseed. Allegedly, he also figured out a new way of multiplying how far apart objects were, wading into complex astronomy-related computations now carried out by computer. Not surprisingly, his owners refused numerous offers to purchase Fuller because they had come to depend on his amazing abilities to measure things with his mind alone. In 1780, when Fuller was 70 years old, a Pennsylvania businessman and a couple of associates on hearing of his extraordinary genius traveled to meet him. Out of courtesy, they asked a few questions. Two were noteworthy. How many seconds were in a year and a half? And how many seconds had a man lived who was 70 years, 17 days, and 12 hours old? When he correctly answered, 47,304,000 and 200,210,500,800 respectively in less than two minutes each time, one of the men objected, citing his own calculations were much more smaller. When the observer adjusted for the extra day every four years, they accepted Fuller's answers. Their observations of Fuller's computational abilities were later submitted to the Abolitionist Society of Pennsylvania. Fuller died on the Cox Farm near Alexandria, Virginia in 1790. He was 80 years old.